Hey, welcome back to Our Tiny Mess. Today I am going to show you how to re-sharpen your knife. Having a sharp knife is key when you are cooking. It makes cooking a lot easier. You will work faster and you will work safer. A dull knife will take you longer to cut your vegetables and things and it's a little more dangerous. A dull knife can slip on something and uh, you're more likely to cut yourself. And if you cut yourself on a dull knife, it hurts more than a sharp knife. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Let's talk about what you need to sharpen your own knife. The first thing you're going to need is a sharpening stone. You are going to need a honing rod. Now a honing rod doesn't actually sharpen your knife, it only hones it. It keeps things sharp. I'll explain more on that later and of course you are going to need a knife. Let's talk about sharpening stones real quick. There are so many out there and it can be overwhelming to know which one to buy. There are natural sharpening stones, there are synthetic sharpening stones, there are diamond sharpening stones. I go for the synthetic sharpening stones. The sharpening stones I prefer are the wet stones, which means you gotta soak them in water, or some people use oil. Sharpening stones come in a variety of different grits, and you'll see that associated with a number. You'll see it as low as 200, or 100 and they go all the way up into the thousands, the tens of thousands. The smaller the number, like your 100 and 200 grit, the more coarse the stone's gonna be. The more coarse the stone is, the more metal is gonna be taken off your knife. The higher the number, the finer the grit on your stone's gonna be. And those super high number ones, they polish your knife. Now my stone is two-sided. I've got a 1,000 and then a 6,000. I use the 1,000 to put a new edge on and make my knife sharp. And then I use the 6,000 side to really refine it, polish it up, make it look nice, and get it nice and sharp. Now, before we can start sharpening a knife, we gotta soak the stone. And you wanna soak it in some water, you wanna cover it in some water, um, and leave it soaking for about 15 minutes. So this here is my honing rod or a honing steel. These are used to keep your knife sharp, not make it sharp. All right, our stone has been soaking for 15 minutes, so we're ready to go. To get ready, I like to put my stone on a rag to keep the stone from moving while I'm sharpening. I keep a bowl of water to keep my stone wet as we go. I've got the knife. I got a rag to clean the knife as we go and then some uh, three pennies, and I'll explain how we use that. You stack the three pennies, and that's how high your knife is going to lay when you are sharpening. All right, so to start, you're going, we are gonna work the knife in sections. We're gonna work back and forth, up and down the whole length of the sharpening blade, keeping the same angle those three pennies. You hold the knife down, and then I like to press and make sure that I get contact the whole time. So when you're starting, you can count. Go up and down 10 times, and then move. New section, put your two fingers down, and keep on going. Work your way all the way on the knife. Work your way up. Keep on going. Now I've gone from the heel all the way to the tip and now I'm gonna work my way back down. And then periodically, don't forget to add a little more water. All 
All right, we've made our way up and then back down. I'm going to give my knife a good wipe. Now I'm going to check it. So we just sharpened this side, which means on this back side, I should feel a burr. So I'm going to run my finger and where I feel it catch, I know that I've worked a burr. Now I don't feel one yet, which means I need to keep on going. And I'm going to keep on going up and down until I get a burr all the way. All right, I've gone back and forth a few times. We're gonna check the burr. Great, now that we got our burr on the whole knife, it's time to work the other side. Now I'm gonna check for the burr on this side. That's great, so we got the burr going all the way. Now we gotta lightly take off the burr on this side. So just a little more, not so much like I did in the first time, but just a gentle take the burr off. And now we are done with this side of our sharpening stone. So now we are on the finer side. This is the 6,000 grit. This will polish the knife up, refine the edge, and make it really nice. It's not really gonna sharpen it, but make the edge polished. All right, now that I am done using the sharpening stone, I'm going to take my knife to the honing rod just to really refine it, and then we will check how sharp it is. Now, there are many different ways to use your honing steel, and I will show you the safest, easiest way. So stand your honing steel up, have a rag on the bottom, and then you just lightly Go the length. You don't want to do too much pressure or overdo it. Just a few times on each side. And then you are done. All right, now we're gonna to check to see how well we did and how sharp we got our knife. And the easiest way to do that is with a scrap piece of paper. You hold it on edge and we are gonna slice it. If you get a nice smooth cut, we're good. If it rips, you're gonna have to start over again. Okay, so that's how you sharpen your knife. I encourage you to practice. You're not gonna be perfect the first time. I was not. But it takes persistence, and soon you will be great at sharpening your own knife. And to help you get started, I have put some of my favorite knife sharpening tools in our Amazon store. So look for the link in the description below. And be safe. I'm very nervous. Okay. Like, it's just subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching today's episode. Am I saying again? Thanks for watching today's episode. Make sure you subscribe. I'm. <laughs> Can you see my hands? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Oh, there's like a naked man running by. You know what? Let's not make it.